Hey there guys, Skippy here from Skippy6 Gaming, coming to you with a pretty wicked tutorial. Uh, this one here is a powered rail duplicator. So, there's a kind of a story behind this one. On this one here, this guy commented on my video saying, hey, powered rail duplicator. And I was like, listen man, I've checked, I've tried all the tutorials online, and uh, none of them work. They've all been updated, and this, that, and the other. And I start going, and then one day this guy joins my world late at night, and... Uh, so if you don't have a mic, usually I won't give you any privileges in my world. So he's jumping around. I'm like, oh, uh, I tell him no mic, no privileges. Puts on his mic. He speaks Spanish. Like, like he speaks English, but very broken English. And uh, his name is LaRubia. LaRubia SD. Some, there is numbers after it, but he's a super cool dude. And he says, hey, I can make this powered rail, powered rail duplicator. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So I went and got him the stuff he needed. And he made it. And I'm telling you right now, I've only used this for like 10 minutes. Just non-stop powered rails going buck wild. So I'm just going to show you how it works. Again, shout out again to LaRubia for coming in and showing me how to make this. He kind of showed me. I mean, ultimately, I'm just going to duplicate this for you guys. Um, but it is the LaRubia's design for all intents and purposes. And I'm just going to do my best to copy what he did here for you guys. Because honestly, this is... One of those super valuable things to have in your survival world, man. If you're building a railroad, that's so much iron and so much redstone and so much everything. So all you got to do is turn it on and then sit here and spam. You, you don't even have to. Just hold down L2. Watch it, watch it rain. It's raining powered rails. Non-stop, man. This is one of the coolest things. Like I said, guys, I have checked online for one of these for so long. There you go. I started with one. I, I made it so that I only had one powered rail in my inventory when we started. So 38, that long. But if you just sit here and spam it, it doesn't stop. Just hold the trigger down. Pretty cool, man. Like I said, tons of these don't work, man. I've tried dozens of these off online. Um, none of the ones online work. So here we go, guys. Thanks, LaRubia. Don't be uh, impatient with me, guys, if it takes me a little bit. Because all I'm doing is kind of duplicating it. Uh, it looks pretty straightforward, and I did duplicate it pretty pretty good one time earlier with Commander Radic, and uh, <clears throat> it is a pretty straightforward build. So pretty much, guys, just duplicate what I do, but we kind of have the initial layer here is kind of how I'm going to do it, and the initial layer looks a little bit like this. Not a little bit like this, exactly like this. So we got everything we need right there. So now we're going to take a look at where these sticky pistons go. We're going to want to put... Let's just go ahead and put these ones down right now. So we're going to want a sticky piston. Sticky piston right there. And then there is a little trick with the powered rails I'll show you, or with the regular rails I'll show you after. And so we got the whole front area. That looks pretty good to me. So let's go ahead and uh, get this bad boy going on the side. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to want to come out from here nice powerful pickaxe can't go wrong with that and you're gonna wanna also that's gonna be that one there so let's go ahead and make a cross super powerful pickaxe and one in the back side here And then we're going to put one more for our sticky piston. So I know for sure now we're going to put a sticky piston right there. Again, pretty straightforward, guys. I'll do a, take my time. You know, I don't need to rush and show you guys exactly what's going on here. We got all the stuff here. Let's just go double check, make sure we're not missing anything. Looks good. Looks like it got everything that we need. So let's just go put this redstone down. Um, it looks like we're going to take some redstone uh, up here to this piston down on the floor to this piston so that's pretty straightforward i hope i have enough redstone perfect so redstone up here here in here and then bring it down on the ground over to the next piston look at that that looks good so it looks like we got most of our little laugh our laugh good times going here so now it's the torches we got to keep an eye out for one two three so let's get our torches out i got nine one two three so now that we got those throw a lever right up here and shut it off because we don't need too much action going 
And what you're going to want to do is I know that from my first test of this, um, it works better if you make it so that this rail turns. I don't, and I don't know why. I don't know the mathematics to it, but I know that it works better if that rail on the right-hand side there turns. And there you go. <laughs> Pretty easy, guys. Thanks again to LaRubia. Let's make sure it works before we go, but it looks identical. Looks like it has everything we need. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And there you go, guys. A powered rail duplicator. I'm telling you right now, I've hunted on YouTube for ages on how to make this. I don't know how or why or what the magic is to it. The Rubia knows all the secrets, um, but now you guys know. I think this is going to be one of my coolest tutorials. Um, it is super usable, man. If you're making a railroad, you just got to build one of these wherever you are, which is pretty resource simple, and uh, you're just going to have powered rails galore. It is pretty cool. So there you guys go. <laughs> I hope you liked this video. Thanks to LaRubia. You're awesome, buddy. Um, <clears throat> and there you go. Hit that like if you think my videos are pretty useful for your survival world. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel if you like my tutorials. And uh, I'll catch you on the next video, guys. Bye. Uh -huh.